This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the usage of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Low Key Fish, and in this video, I'm just going to name everything you need to know about 2CB. This is a psychedelic drug that can produce similar effects to the feeling of candy flipping, which is when someone trips on acid and molly at the same time. I'll explain the benefits, dangers, history, personal experiences, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. Also known as Nexus and Broma Mescaline, 2CB is a novel psychedelic substance of the phenethylamine class. It is perhaps the most well-known member of the 2C family, which are structurally related to the classical psychedelic known as mescaline. It was first discovered in 1974 by the American chemist Alexander Shulgin, who was investigating psychedelic phenethylamines. It is thought to produce its effects by binding the serotonin receptors in the brain. 2CB was first utilized in the psychiatric community as an aid during therapy. Several therapists would give their patients 2CB to help soften their defense and allow them to open up more about their deepest feelings. It wasn't too long after its clinical use until it found its way into the recreational scene. In the mid-1980s, people used it as a legal substitute for MDMA. 2CB was often marketed as an aphrodisiac due to its ability to enhance sex drive in a similar fashion how MDMA does. Up until the early 1990s, it was illegally sold in adult video stores, smoke shops, and nightclubs. But in 1995, it was made a controlled substance and is still currently illegal in most countries. In recent times, 2CB is used by young adults in the rave culture. Similar to mescaline, the high is described as possessing a less serious headspace than tryptamines like LSD or psilocybin mushrooms. Instead, it places a greater emphasis on the visual and tactile domain. At low doses, 2CB is very pro-social and produces empathic experiences making the user more compassionate towards others. Higher doses yield a more psychedelic experience with strong and immersive visuals. Subjective effects include open and closed eye visuals, time distortion, euphoria, and ego loss. Many describe the effect of 2CB as moderate, warm, colorful, and highly sensual. Other positive effects include empathy, giggling, and enhanced tactile sensations. Other negative effects include accelerated pulse, nausea, sweating, or dizziness. If consumed in normal doses, 2CB is deemed physically safe. When taken orally, a common dose is roughly 20 to 30 milligrams. A strong dose is considered 30 to 50 milligrams or even more. If snorted, 2CB is twice as potent but lasts half as long. And be aware, if you snort it, your nose will be on fire because it burns a lot. Typically, it is sold in gel caps or in powder form and has low potential for abuse. Overall, there's been zero documented deaths by people using 2CB. It tends to be much more clear headed than most psychedelics, especially at lower doses. Many describe it to be similar to candy flipping, which is when someone trips on acid and rolls on molly at the same exact time. Personally, I find 2CB to be somewhat in the middle between LSD and MDMA when it comes to the effects and intensity because it can be highly stimulating yet psychedelic at the same exact time at the same time in general i find the 2c family to be intriguing due to their uniqueness and effects compared to other classes of drugs i would compare 2cb to something like sassafras in the sense that it's more like a traditional psychedelic with a hint of ecstasy thrown in in fact click here to watch a video i made all about sassafras if you want to learn more about that or even compare it with 2cb sass can be a lot of fun too and shares many similarities with 2cb i'm low key fish peace out